Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have come with a new video on physics and uh, we, I have come with a video on physics after so many days. So today on physics we are going to learn about a topic that is motion. Now motion is a very big chapter. It is not possible to cover each and every part in one video. Therefore I will try to cover only the types of motion in this video. Okay, what are the types of motion? What is motion? and what is rest because to know what is motion we have to also know rest okay so without taking much time let us directly proceed with the chapter okay so at first we have to know what is a motion this is the definition of motion a body is said to be in motion if its position with respect to a fixed point or an object in its surrounding keep changing with time that means suppose we let us take one example as bus okay now suppose uh, now uh, this was a tree or this is a tree okay this is a tree and in front of it suppose a suppose a man or a something suppose a circle take this pretend this circle as a car okay so yeah the car is standing over here now this car uh, this car have started moving like this so the person who is sitting inside the car he or she will feel that the tree which were means the tree and the other surrounding objects are moving but he or she is, it, uh, is sitting in a position means in a fixed position he or she is not moving but over here if we see norm means uh, normally naturally if we see then we will see the tree is not moving but the car is moving this why the this happens because motion is relative when the body was standing in one place that means it is in rest okay for knowing motion we also we have to along with motion we have to know rest it's a very important term that we have to know so therefore when this car was not moving hope i am audible to everyone when this car was not moving that means it is in a rest in a rest motion means in a rest position because with respect to time suppose the car is not moving this car is standing so with respect to this tree okay with respect to this tree the car is not moving that means what is the definition of uh, suppose what is the definition of rest okay i have a notes with me okay the, uh, i have the notes from where i am just telling you okay this is the notes i am having that i have made from a book and from seeing a very i have some you know some physics books from i have buy it from many of the shops okay today only i buy one book of physics at the morning so therefore uh, actually physics is such a subject where you, have, you can know about the artificial things which have may influence or make the human life easier okay in biology we can know about nature in chemistry we will know about uh, the chemical and all that compound elements mixtures and all that but in physics is such a subject where we can come uh, means we can learn rather we can learn the artificial things that have made our life easier such as the mobile phones the refrigerator the bridges the vehicles or the machine that we are having they all are the concept of physics only so that's why physics is a very interesting subject so therefore uh, i have many books of physics with me so from there from many books i have searched and i have made one notes in my copy from where i am telling you for your extra knowledge okay because seeing from one book uh, one book will give me means will cannot give me an entire knowledge about that particular thing to know or to have entire knowledge we have to search many books even the social medias uh, there are many apps are there okay of physics over there also we can get a clear concept so i just check out from all the books and all the apps and software whatever is possible to do and from there i make my notes myself so therefore uh, from the many books only today I have these notes which from where I am telling you this notes is not at all 
means I have not made the notes from any app. I have made from three four books. Okay. So uh, let us now again get into the chapter. This is the car, and this is the uh, huh, this is the car, and this is the tree. So, so now the car is not moving. Now what is the definition of rest? A body is said to be in rest. if its position with respect to a fixed object or a body in its surrounding is do not change with time or when it is given its surrounding keep changing for rest it will be uh, means in place of keep changing it will not change and in place of motion it will be rest okay so if we just replace these both things then the answer that we get means that we will get is that a body is said to be in uh, rest if its position with respect to a fixed object or an ob fixed point or an object in its surrounding do not change with time okay so when the car is moving now now the time is going on first it will be one second then it will be two second then uh, it will be three second and it will go on for four five six even it will reach one minute then one hour then one day and many more but for now you understand this that the car is not moving with respect to a fixed object the fixed object over here is the tree and with uh, means to a fixed object is the tree and with time okay over here it is also telling with time so the car is not changing its position with respect to a fixed object with time okay with time a car is standing in a fixed position as well as the car before 1 minute suppose a car is standing over here for 5 minutes okay before 1 minute it has faced this tree and after 1 means when it was when it had reached okay leave it it is means now whatever direction the tree is facing now the tree uh, sorry the car is facing the tree okay for the time being the car was facing the tree only for 5 minutes the full 5 minutes the car was facing the tree but as soon as the car will in uh, will come in a motion then it will its surrounding will keep changing okay now a car suppose it has come here so now over here one suppose one house is there suppose like this something okay now it will start facing the house because its uh, position have changed but when the position of was not changed that uh, that time the car was standing in front of the tree only so for uh, I mean, as much time for as much time the car was standing for that time for that particular period of time it was facing the tree only so here it is the fixed object and we can tell that over here the car is in, is at rest why we can tell means how we can tell this by we can tell that the car is said to be at rest because its position with respect to the tree which is a fixed object is not changing with time now the car suppose it has come in motion and it has come in front of a house now how we can tell that the car is in motion the the car is in motion we can I mean so uh, we let me just change the sentence we can say that the car is in motion because it has uh, when uh, we know that if the body is in motion then its surrounding will keep changing so over here what we can tell that is that car okay the car is in motion because it is changing its surrounding with respect to a fixed object that is the tree with time okay okay so this is a very clear definition that i have given you and this is a very appropriate definition okay in many examinations they will give you a diagram or a suppose a small store two three lines that the car was in rest rest in this time and all that and the car starts moving after 5 minutes okay so when we will be giving uh, going deeply to this chapter then we will understand all that time speed okay but in today's video i am not going to tell about all this time speed and all that i am only going to tell you the motion and what are the types of motion now we have understood what is a rest and what is a motion so let me just pardon once more that 
the car is in motion in this position just forgot about this okay this part just forget about this part only see this part we can say that the car is in motion eh, sorry a car is in rest because the it is not changing its surrounding with respect to the tree with time and when it is in motion we can say that the car is in motion because it is changing its surrounding with respect to a fixed object with time okay so now let us come to the types of motion this motion is little confusing chapter if you take it uh so if you take in a confusing way then it will be a confusing chapter for you okay but please do not take it uh, casual and casual I means very easy because it's a tough chapter but if you learn it if you just understand it then it will be very easy okay now coming to types of motion types of motion types of now number 1 translatory motion okay number 1 is translated you now translatory motion has two parts one is uh, suppose rectilinear motion another is curvilinear motion okay number 2 is circulatory motion now in many books you will find that circulatory motion is given under the category of translatory motion but it is wrong circulatory motion is totally different from translatory motion it will also tell you that a trans uh, circulatory motion is a special case of curvilinear motion maybe it is correct maybe it is wrong i don't know that but according to me circulatory motion is totally different from translatory motion okay as well as it is very very much it has uh, sub 80% difference from curvilinear motion maybe 20% is similar but 80% is different okay between circulatory and curvilinear so i am not uh, i am not giving circulatory motion under the category of translatory motion i am just separately writing it next comes rotatory motion is oscillatory motion now the oscillatory motion there, there is one part that is vibratory motion now number 5 under uh, under repeated motion there are two parts one is periodic there is non periodic motion okay now one more motion we have uh, i think the rest of the part is not visible yeah it is visible next part we have that is random motion and one more we have that is combination motion
one more word is given okay actually this mixed motion why i have given this mixed motion is used in selina books okay selina is a publication in the selina publication books okay means the books that are public uh, means the books that you get from the publication selina okay many schools prefer to selina books so they there it will be written mixed uh, mixed motion because it is more appropriate but if you find the some means if you yeah this combination or multiple motion you will find in living signs okay a book of ratna sagar in ratna sagar books you will find combination or multiple this book both the terms will be given actually i have one book of ratna sagar over there i have combination or multiple but in selina it will be mixed okay now uh, at first let me tell you what is translated one by one we will move now what is a translatory motion uh let me just open my notes yes so translatory motion if an object moves in such a way that every part of that object moves through the same distance in the same time interval then the object is called is then the object is said to be in a translatory motion now suppose i have taken one object suppose a line over there i have to, uh, took two points a and b now suppose the uh, line is moved over here okay now over here suppose the distance between these two is 3 meter 3 meter over here the distance is 3 meter or let me just write it or suppose it is 2 meter okay now when this line is moving here over here also two points will be there now what is translatory motion if the every part of the object move in a same distance in a same interval of time now over here suppose this is a point a point will move 30 meter now b point will also move 30 meter it's a common sense Okay, this will not happen. That it will move for ten meter and it will move for twenty meter. This will not happen. Sorry, it will move for thirty meter and it will move for thirty-five meter. It will not happen like that. Because why does it happen? Because we are taking an object and both the point are on a same line. Okay, and whenever we are just moving it like this, then the distance, the distance of A. sorry the distance of a will be equal to distance of b okay distance of a will be equal to distance of b because the a have moved for 30 meters b will also move for 30 meters so therefore now one more thing is there now a have moved 30 meters for suppose 2 minutes or uh, suppose i am just taking example 1 minute example okay and th now this will also not happen that a will move 30 meter for 1 minute and b will move 30 meter for 2 minute no it will also move in a same time interval or in a same interval of time it will also move for one so this is also this is the distance and the time is 1 minute over here also this is the distance and time will be 1 minute okay so if uh, now over here it has be it is the distance between two points a and b is 2 meter now when it will be going here suddenly it will not become 1 meter or 3 meters it will remain 2 meter only yeah 
yes or not okay answer me in the chat box so it is 2 meter this is also sorry i have written 2 minute this is 2 meter this is also 2 meter okay so now let me on one second repeat the definition of translatory motion if an object move in such a way that every part of object moves through the same distance it is same distance 30 meter 30 meter in the same interval of time same interval 1 minute 1 minute okay then we can say that the body is in or the motion is translatory motion okay so this is the clear de definition or explanation of translatory motion now coming to the next now coming to its parts one is rectilinear motion now what is rectilinear motion an object moving along a straight path line or a straight line path is said to have rectilinear motion now suppose this is a line two point the ex uh, expression that I gave you just now is not a rectilinear motion because rectilinear motion will move in a straight line. Okay. Now, there are also A, B. The space between A, B is suppose 3 meter. Over here also it will be 3 meter. Okay. Now, the distance between A and point A is from the main position to their final from the initial position to their final position suppose it is 3 meter no not 3 I have already given 3 suppose 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter in 1 minute and here also example I have given 2 minute and uh, sorry 1 minute and 2 meter example okay and this also will be okay so it is the more translatory motion that takes place in a straight line path okay that is known as the rectilinear motion now what is curvilinear motion from the name curvilinear only you can understand that something is going to happen that is curve okay now we are taking one stick one a b the distance between a b is 5 meter now it suppose it is moving in a curved path like this or uh, let me keep it till here now over here it will stop now over here the distance between the two point will be same it will not increase or decrease now the it has moved like this okay it has moved like this now from A to A and from B to B will have same distance suppose 5 meter or uh, 6 meter and in a same time interval I am taking now x minute and not giving a minute now now I am taking one variable that is x minute ok so 6 meter in x minute ok so over here also the point from B this is the B point B and this is the point A so from point A to A and B to B, both will be 6 meter. It will not happen that A moves for 6 meter and B moves for 3 meter. No. Both will be both will be having this equal distance. And it will also not happen that A moves for X minute and B for, uh, moves for Y minute. No. It will move for same time interval. Okay. If the, they are the, which I have already told you the characteristics. If the characteristics match, then we can say that the body is in a translatory motion. Now let me come to circulatory motion. Now what is a circulatory motion? Sir, now suppose this is circulatory motion now this is the sun sorry this is the orbit around sun where the earth is moving 
this is the sun. So earth is revolving around the sun. Now circular motion is such a motion where the axis of rotation is passing through it but the axis of rotation is not touching the body. Okay. Now over here the axis are passed uh, the axis are passed to in the middle only in middle of the orbit but it has not touched the earth. Okay. So what we can say circulatory motion is such a type of motion where uh, sorry circulatory motion is such a type of motion where the axis of rotation does not touch the body but passes th through the middle. So over here the axis is passing through the middle. Okay, the axis is passing through the middle, but it is not touching the main object. Okay. This is circulatory motion. Now coming to translatory motion. Now what is a translatory? Sorry, uh, rotatory motion. I've already told you translatory. Now what is a trans rotatory motion? Rotatory motion is suppose this is a top. Okay, predict this as a top. Now this is a top. Okay. Now it will rotate like this. It will rotate like this. Suppose I am moving the pen like this. So it is rotating. Now when I am moving the pen like this. Then the axis of rotation is passing through the middle. That's why the body is, itself is moving. Okay. Now if the pen. Suppose this is the another marker. And the, this marker is moving like this. Around it. Okay. Like this. Or like this. Like this it is moving. So it is not touching this pen. But it is passing through the middle. This is the axis of rotation. It is passing through the middle but it is not touching this pen. So in this case it is circulatory. But when this pen is itself moving like this. Then the axis of rotation is passing through the body. That's why it is moving like this. So the axis of rotation is touching this particular body. This respective body. So this is the rotatory motion. So when an object rotates or spins about an axis. Called the axis of rotation. It is said to have a rotatory motion. Okay. So over here the pain is rotating like this. So the axis is passing through the middle. It is touching the body. That's why the body itself it is rotating. Same for here. The axis of rotation is passing through the middle like this. This is the axis of rotation. This is the axis of rotation. So it is passing through the middle. Yes. So that's why the top itself it is moving. So over here. The axis of rotation is touching the top. Now coming to the next. That is oscillatory motion. Now what is, uh, what is oscillatory motion? Or rather what is an oscillatory motion? When an object as a whole moves to and fro about its main position. It is called to be in a oscillatory motion now let me take the example as pendulum now this is the main position now in pendulum once it will move like this and another position will move like this this distance is called amplitude. This is the amplitude. This is the amplitude. Okay. And this is its main position. This is its main position. From where when it will move like this. The distance. Now when it will move like this. It will reach here. It means like this. Like this. Okay, it will uh, move like, sorry. So when it will go there, the motion means the position of the body will be like this. So the distance between the initial position and to the final position. 
is known as the amplitude in case of oscillatory motion and vibratory motion okay in uh, case of oscillatory motion and vibratory motion the distance between its initial position to its final position is called amplitude same in this vice versa okay when it's not vice versa means over here whatever explanation i am giving same explanation will be applied here okay so i am not explaining both the sides i am only taking this side so this is the amplitude now one more example can be there that is a swing swing also moves to and fro what is to and fro motion once it is going like this another it is going like this again it is coming like this again like this this is called uh, to and fro motion okay when suppose this is a pen this is a marker one like this so starting from here one like this then again like this then one like this then again like this then one like this then again like this this is called to and fro motion okay so swing can also be the example now in oscillatory motion the amplitude is the um, uh, that means the distance of the amplitude or the amplitude itself is greater than a vibratory motion this is the main difference between vibratory motion and oscillatory motion okay that in oscillatory motion the ampl amplitude is great but in case of vibratory motion the amplitude is less now suppose i am taking a guitar string now suppose this is a guitar string okay now when we pull it upwards okay now we have pull it upwards it the, the shape becomes like this then it comes down it becomes like this so this was its mean position sorry uh, final uh, initial position and this is its final position now the amplitude is very small so this is vibratory motion now one thing is there in both for oscillatory motion and vibratory motion in case of oscillatory motion whenever it moves like this okay when it will move means over here whenever it will come from this position to this position you have to when suppose uh, this pendulum have gone to this side now when it will come to this side it have to pass through the initial position okay means like this now wait let me open it is like this now when it will uh, move like this this side when it will go then when it means when it will move this side then it have to pass through this position and this is its initial position means when it is moving like this okay this uh, it have to pass from this position then only it can reach there it will not fly and come here or fly and go there same over here it will go or uh, if if it goes that side then from here it have to go come this side then only it can go that side so this shows that the in os both oscillatory and vibratory motion the string or whatever is there it have to pass through the initial position same for a guitar string same for the guitar string if this is the guitar string if it moves like this and like this okay when it will come from this position to this position you have to face to this position okay so this shows that oscillatory motion or in oscillatory motion whatever is in a to and fro motion i have to pass to the initial position yes you have to pass to the initial position now what is a repetitive motion over here sorry again we can take the example as pendulum sorry let, let me write uh, repetitive motion now example again we can take as pendulum okay now when the pendulum is moving like this and like this it is repeating its motion okay because once it is going like this again coming here again going the mean once it is like this going there coming here going there again coming there going again going there Again coming and again going there. So this is uh, means it is a repeated in motion. Means it is repeating its motion. Okay, that uh, this is not happening. That 
it is stopping here then it is stopped forever it will come here after a particular period of time okay maybe one second maybe one millisecond whatever but it will repeat it motion repeat its motion now period period uh, repeated motion have two parts one is periodic periodic motion non periodic now what is a periodic motion the motion that repeats itself after a regular interval of time is called a periodic motion best example is pendulum pendulum is repeating its motion okay repeating its motion after a certain interval of time it is not happening it is going there stopping for 3 minutes coming here again going there stopping for 5 minutes again coming here again going there stopping for 3 minutes sorry stopping for 4 minutes and coming here again going there stopping for 6 minutes no it is not happening like happening like that if it is stopping for 1 second over here it will after when it will go there it will again uh, after over here also suppose it is 1 second over it is 1 second so this time will not change whenever it will go there it will be 1 second only whenever it will come here it will 1 second only the time interval okay so it is for suddenly it will not become 2 second and this will become 4 second no this cannot take take place next comes non periodic motion the motion that repeat itself but not after a regular interval of time means in a irregular interval of time okay it is called non periodic motion saving of branches of a tree motion of our lungs during breathing swinging of our arms and legs while walking motion of rolling ball on the floor a some example of non periodic motion now coming to random motion now in random motion there is nothing to draw actually it's very easy for random motion it is very easy means there is no fixed motion there is no fixed direction or anything now suppose i have taken one ant suppose this is one ant ant sub one is moving like this one like this again going here again going there again like this it is moving okay so it is in a random motion same for butterfly suppose this is a butterfly it will fly go there go there and it is in a random motion the gas molecules also the gas molecules are also in a random motion okay means it will not have it will not have any fixed direction or in a or have a fixed path okay now the next is a combination mixed or multiple motion now what is a combination number 5 combination multiple or mixed motion mixed is given in selina books and these two are given in ratna sagar books and this is given in selina books selina publication okay so over here what you will be find means what you will find sorry what you will find that is in a combination motion there will be when an object let me just read out the definition to you when an object poses as two or more types of motion at the same time then it is called combination sorry i have rubbed this on you now suppose a drill machine when a drill machine is rolling like this it is rolling like this or it will be more easier if i draw like this okay it is rolling like this and it is going straight so it is rolling like this and it is going straight so it is possessing two motion at once 
one is rotatory motion because the axis of rotation is passing through the drill and one is a translatory motion it is going straight okay or we can say rectilinear motion it will be more appropriate a type of translatory motion because every parts of the drill is moving through the same distance in the same interval of time okay which is the definition of rectilinear and it is also moving in a straight path as well as it is rotating so it is both rotatory motion and translatory motion with this i com complete ex i complete explanation of types of motion and what is motion and rest in my next video i will try to come with a new, one more subject maybe english or biology so thank you everyone hope you have liked my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe it also press the bell icon to get the notification of my uploaded video and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you bye